God is the ultimate designer. We can see his invisible attributes. Our lives and hopes are a canvas on which God paints. Now we have been invited to paint along with him. He is here, he is near us, in our hearts, in our lives, in our midst. He is here, he is near us, calling us to I was worshiping the Lord and I just had this kind of, of, I don't know, just, it's not like a vision, but the song was uh, Wake Up and it was just talking about the glory of the Lord. And so I did this with it and it's not done yet, but hopefully tomorrow when I'm in worship again, I get more inspiration for it. This is a very different type of art. It's when we paint during worship. I'm normally a more precise painter. But you know, when you're able to paint during worship, I think the child in you awakens. I just love like to play in worship and just to let the Spirit lead me, you know. And I, I don't really, sometimes I will actually like paint, you know, objects and recognizable things, but a lot of times I'll just mostly just do color and shape. I think if we can paint like little children, it brings a lot of healing to our souls. If you see the painting here, I didn't plan that before I came. We started singing a very old hallelujah chorus, very known, simple melody. And I just really felt like Jesus was wrapping his garment around me. And um, so I just quickly take a paintbrush and try to paint that for me and also the other people that we understand the love of God. And I think this is one of the most important things with worship arts, that we get connected again to the heart of God. On the one who gave your life, lay your burdens down at His feet. Open up your heart to the living Word. Our lives and hopes are a canvas on which God paints. It's kind of the center. And then we'll let it dry while we talk about other things. Then we'll do some salt and we'll pray for the salt of the earth. That my friend will be the salt of the earth. I just take out my pastels and begin to listen to the worship music and that's where this lady came from. And the whole message was that we have a choice to speak blessings or speak curses. We can decree love and unity and that's what this woman stands for. The whole idea of the song Forgiven it, I think that's such a powerful concept and when that the adulterous woman is thrown at Jesus' feet she's ready to be stoned and he just says well where are your accusers because he was willing to forgive her and 
none of the others were without sin themselves. So to me, that's the most powerful picture of forgiveness. Your blood ran down Your blood ran down Your blood ran down From your head Down your face From your head Every single time I start a new painting, I never, I never have an idea. It's just, I know what I'm supposed to do. For some reason, I know I'm supposed to do it in the desert, the scenery of the desert. I know how she's supposed to be laid down, but I never know why in the desert. I don't know this stuff. I just, I start drawing, you know? I buy a big canvas and I can just start doing whatever I think from God. God, I'm to you. Sure.